Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we got some cool stuff in store for you. So we're gonna be looking at our new 3D printer, uh, which is a Lulzbot TAS-6. Uh, we pretty much bought it for the Lulz, and uh, that's bought a really bad joke, and we should start all over again. Nah, it's Or okay. just go forward with it. Okay. Just keep it with the Lulz, man. <laughs> uh, some of the cool things we have coming, uh, we're gonna talk about the Datsun. I'm sure you've seen it in the background with the Honda engine. Uh, kind of a slow build, but you know what? We're gonna develop some products and stuff after that. It'll be a fun thing for us to work on. We also have 3D scanner. You wanna to touch on that a little bit? Yeah, so one of the big things is we're doing some reverse engineering jobs um, on top of trying to do things like design entire swap kits for the Datsun, and so the ability to scan the engine bay and design off of those 3D scans will be a really big step up for us. <clears throat> Yeah, and what I'm most looking forward to is who is RDE video. So on that one, we'll touch into you know, kind of our background. Um, what do we do? What's our passion? We actually have another business partner that hasn't been in any of the videos, and we're going to bring him in, whether he likes it or not. And that's going to be super exciting, just to get to know us a little bit. So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to unbox and assemble the Tazbot today. Yeah, and lastly, guys, thank you for the ones that smash the subscribe button, smash that like button. I just, I love it. We're growing as a channel. We have a lot of fun doing these videos. And if you can just give us likes and subs, we can keep doing these videos. And with that, we'll go to the 3D printer. I love being short. Standing on my tiptoes still doesn't help. I've been short my whole life. Let's just put it down. It's gonna so the nice thing is it looks like it comes with a really nice instruction manual. It says start here. Man, it's got pictures on how to unbox it. Yeah. Which we skipped. Way to go, Matter Hatter. Okay, we're typical customers. Probably just yanking out of the box. So we bought this from Matter Hackers instead of straight from Molesbot or off of Amazon for a couple different reasons. If you're looking to get into 3D printing or you buy a lot of 3D printing supplies, Matter Hackers is the place to go. They have a rewards program, so we were able to buy this printer and then pay for the material and get some money off of a secondary print head uh, just by buying the printer and save us about 70 bucks. So if you're looking to get into 3D printing, definitely go over to Matter Hackers and check that out. I'm pretty impressed with this packaging, once again. Way to go, people. So with this, it really looks like that uh, everything is packaged exactly the way it needs to be. It's already mostly assembled. And then on top of that, the instruction manual is extremely detailed. Very nice step-by-step -step pictures, very nice descriptors. Everything is laid out internally so that it pulls apart real easy. And it's uh, so far pretty idiot proof, which is good for us. It's also mostly 3D printed parts. Kind of like the chicken and egg. Which come first? The 3D printer or the 3D printed parts? <laughs> What's the next step there, boss? Stand the printer frame upright and remove the two final pieces of protection. So Tom Cruise. <laughs> Can I get a stool? Included was a list of all the tests and acceptance parameters that they have for the 3D printer. So they do go through and check all the step motors out. They go and make sure that everything in that is nice and square. Um, and then they also set your Z offset for you already from the factory. So that's, that's really nice. 
Um, this is also good because they keep record of which mach machine it is, so if you ever had issues and you sent this back, they would know exactly what's been done to it. They also include the packaging list, which has obviously been checked off by a human. Um, so that's good too, to know that everything's probably here. Lastly, the separate boxes comes with this really awesome zip-up case, it's a nylon zip-up case, that has all your tools already included in it. So these are all the tools you need to do your 3D printing, to adjust the machine, to scrub down the heated test bed, um, all these different things. Also includes things like a full set of hex head, an X-Acto knife. Hey, this guy. Some pliers. And then yeah, they send you this little guy, which has been printed on our machine, just to show you that it has been calibrated, it's been uh, assembled, and it's been tested to know that it works. Good. Nice. So with that, we're gonna now go to installing the print head and finishing the rest of that. I really do that, don't I? I yeah, it's annoying. So. I know I do the same thing in some aspect. Just right. always a critic. See, if you start, I won't say so. Yeah, you will. No. I put a thousand dollars on it. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, it's all together. Uh, really nice built construction. I, I like the 3D printed parts. I like that it's just easy. Um, anybody could put this together. Uh, high school, middle school, college very well built piece of equipment. You can tell they put thought into the usability of this machine. Um, I mean all the wire was perfectly cable managed. Yeah. Everything, even the parts that you have to put in there are just snap-in parts. All the connectors are protected with foam. I think it's the easiest thing we've ever put together in the shop. I agree. I, I, I agree. Thing. Mad respect for them. They put a lot of work into it. Uh, let's get this software installed and start printing some stuff. All right. So the Lulzbot TAS6 comes with an SD card that has all the software that you need for the 3D printer on it. Problem with that is this little SD card is not always up to date. So what we found is even though we installed everything based on that SD card, it's much better to just go to the website, download what you need to download to make sure that it's the most to date. And then also it comes with some really nice uh, instruction manuals. We did use these to set up the connections, to set up the offsets for the printer itself. The one issue that we ran into though is this is also not the most up-to-date. Um, it's extremely detailed, but the uh, Cura software that you use to set everything up for the parts to be printed uh, has gone through some changes that are not covered in the manual. So make sure you go online to get your software and go online to, to make sure that the, the how-tos are really the most up-to-date. So we're gonna print a couple of the parts that we make as RDE. Uh, so what you're seeing on the screen here is our reverse lockout delete for T56, T56 Magnums, TR6060 transmissions. Uh, we're gonna blow this up. It's made up of a couple different parts. So you can see here that we have the housing that's very similar to the, the reverse lockout solenoid that's in the transmission. We have the spring that changes uh, the spring rates to make sure that it feels uh, nice and firm as you go into reverse. And then of course our O-ring to seal it and the plunger and C-clamp to hold it all together. So I got each of the individual pieces loaded up in Cura. You can see them here. I built it with generating supports mainly because some of the parts wanted to print on their side and without those supports it'll probably fail to print. So we're gonna print all the various components and, and one print uh, on the single test bed and see how it turns out and compares against the real one.
After test printing the octopus um, to break in the printer with the supplied PLA, we went ahead and printed one of our basic parts, time and chain dampener for LS engines. Uh, it come out pretty good, coarse print, you know, nothing too fancy for a first print, but dimensionally it works out perfect, so. After we did the basic print for our timing chain dampener that goes on LS1s and LS6s, uh, we decided to make one of our more complicated parts, which is a T56 TR6060 lockout delete. Uh, it's got a plunger machined out of steel and the housing is made out of aluminum. And then we have a spring that gives you the mechanical feedback so that you know you're not headed into reverse. So we tried to print that. Uh, we ran into some of the issues that you have with all 3D printing. One of those is the fact that you have to print supports. You can't just print a straight string, uh, spring. And so, as you can see, we had a failed spring print. Uh, we have a little roughness here because we didn't orient the part correctly so that it could just print without supports. So we had to add the supports. But ultimately, the portions that didn't have the supports match up pretty well dimensionally. Uh, we did some checks as far as that's concerned and we're pretty happy with it. So at the end of the day, it's really gonna be a, a nice addition to start doing some of the test fit ups that we need to do on some of the new parts that we're designing. Because ultimately in the past, what we've been doing is designing the part, getting a piece machined, keep iterating and iterating over and over again. It was taking us months. So now hopefully we can get that done in days. Yeah, that's the advantage of rapid prototyping with 3D printer, so. So we're pretty happy with the printer overall. Uh, you know, if you look online, you're going to see that it's got extremely good reviews. There's actually a new edition out that we would have rather have had that came out three months after we purchased ours, <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Oh, we're not going to hate though. <laughs> <laughs> so all in all, uh, TAS 6 is a pretty good machine and we're pretty happy with it and we're excited to use its new capabilities. Guys, please squish that like button with your mouse and please smash that like button. The subscribe, subscribe button. button. <laughs> Do it one more time. The other button. Please touch both of our buttons. <laughs> Please, guys, put the buttons <laughs> in these waters. Touch the button. <laughs>